Hey Summoners, this is Angusta Caesar, and I'm going to start doing a short series, hopefully short series, helping Summoners to get more used to rankings and maybe transition better in the rankings, and as well as uh, maybe a few tips here and there, but it's more about learning. So to start off with my first episode, I want to put an idea in your heads, about, and I think this is an idea to help you get a lot better. And this hopefully this idea, it's kind of, I feel this idea is the core of everything. Well, a person can learn everything one by one and to just collect all that information in their head. But I feel like this idea, it's kind of the core of all tips and ideas that are given to you. And I feel like if you come to understand this idea and use this idea and apply it to your play, that you can learn a lot more than just looking for tips or watching streams or asking people questions and so this idea is an idea of a perfect game and so what does that mean to you? what does it mean to play a perfect game? the purpose of the idea is to really help you think more about it to get better because when you learn something on your own it stays in your mind a lot better than it does when someone tells it to you. And so I've applied this idea myself and I feel like it's helped me a lot through a lot of divisions and hopefully it'll help you as well. So I'm going to start off by saying what a perfect game means to me. Now a perfect game, what it means to me is that it means I'm doing everything perfectly. It means I'm doing it perfectly in every sense of the word. And that goes from the client to in-game and pre-game, it means everything to do with the game. A perfect game to me means that I'm perfectly prepared for everything. I'm prepared for every situation and I know, I have an idea about what I'm going to do in these situations. And that means being prepared above all else before I go into chance of life. And when I'm in chance of life, it means I have an idea and I know what I'm going to do and I try to carry that idea out. And so another thing is, what a perfect game means is, to me, what it means most is taking every advantage possible. If you have an advantage you can take, but you don't take it, then what's the point? If you want to win, you really have to show that you want to win. You want to do everything it takes to win, no matter what it is. No matter, even if it feels just really bad and it feels really cheesy, like you do rakes at level 1 to get the EXP advantage. So you can just cheese them and kill them at level 2. Now, some players may hate you for it and say, oh, you just cheesed me. But, when in, in, but in reality, when you win the game, you took the advantage that you needed to take to win the game because of it. So there's really no, no such thing as cheesing or like playing unfairly because you're doing everything it takes to win. And in the end, that's what matters. You want to win and you want to put this mentality in your head where you will do whatever it takes in game to win. That doesn't mean hacking and cheating because that doesn't make you any better of a player. But taking advantages that are there makes you a better player. Now another thing I want to put out is timings. In a, in a perfect game, it, to me it also means understanding timings. It means I can see things coming and I know what to do about it. Timings like when the jungler finishes is red, when the jungler finishes is blue. If I understand these concepts, then I can be aware of what's going on. And also that's what also a perfect game means to me. It also means being aware. If I'm aware of everything, nothing surprises me, nothing catches me off guard, then I'm playing a perfect game. Because I know what's going on, I know what I can do about it, and I know how to counterplay it. And also that also means how to react. Because playing a perfect game also means to me, also means that you know what objectives to take and when. And it's arguably the most important part of a perfect game because objectives help your whole team out. Playing a perfect game to me also means that I do everything it takes to secure the position I'm best at. And by that I mean also while cropping with my team. So in Champ Select I like to tell the roles I like to play or I prefer to play that are my best roles because I want to do everything it takes to win the game from champ select 
And so I want to make sure that I don't butt heads with anybody and that they get the roles they want, I get the role I want, and that we're all happy. Because playing a perfect game also means communication. And it means to communicate everything you need to to your teammates. Some things may seem trivial, some things may not, but regardless, you should communicate those things to your teammates. So communicating what roles you prefer to play, the alternate roles you prefer to play, and maybe even considering what champions you're playing against and what champions that your teammates are choosing to form a better team comp. And so that's it for my first episode. Hopefully it's not too long and I'll have more ideas next time. If you guys have any questions, you want to leave some comments or you want to ask uh, for more insight on something, then just let me know. Thank you.